after the disappointment of Brackley last week, you must be really pleased to see your players bounce back like that today. Yeah, I thought we was fantastic. I'll be, be honest, um, especially f like first half, we could have gone three, four nil up quite easily. I thought, uh, I thought Dominic was outstanding. It shows how much we miss him when he doesn't play. Um, he had a penalty on him as well in the, in the first half. Again, he got the other side of his player, and the geezers come through the back of him. I, I don't see what the officials are seeing again. You know, I'm not worried that the scoreline was five, but that's a penalty. You know, that eases the nerves again. That takes us to three nil. Um, and they don't give it so, you know, it's annoying for me. Um, but saying that, we kept going, we had a good shape about us, and I think Bradford are quite a good side. I think they play good football, their rotation's good, their movement's good. We still have to be alive and alert. And when it gets back to 2 1, you're just thinking, oh, not, not again, you know. Um, but we said in the last six games, we've been leading five out of the six games, and we've got to make sure that this doesn't go the same way as in other games. You mentioned particularly that the defending in the first half was one thing you were disappointed with. Were you a lot more pleased with what you saw from your defence today? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I thought they were solid, Morgan and Diggs, and with Junior and JJ. I think it was a solid, just a couple of things that I wasn't happy with, but we ironed them out and, you know, bear in mind I thought Diggs was outstanding. I, we give him a round of applause in there because he ain't played for six, seven months. And to come in and play 90 the way he did, cut head as well and that I think I think he's been you know brilliant when I mean, it was brilliant today but I don't want to single anyone out in particular but I just felt very good team performance full of attacking prowess um, slowed down a bit second half we tried to catch them on the break we let them have the ball a little bit more but I think and you know you hit five it's four goals on the goal difference which is important and um, we have to talk about Don McHale I mean he was ridiculous today what a player he's been since he's been in the building yeah no he's Dom's a good lad and he's a good person and we just on at Dom all the time just to get fitter, get fitter because he can get fitter. He's got all the ability, the way he went around the goalkeeper with how quick his feet were um, for his goal and it sets the tone for us, you know, uh, attacking wise. Um, need to get a few things into him, work harder and things like that, which we always talk about but on the ball he's, he's a magician, isn't he? And it must have been great to see Kieran Phillips back on the score sheet as well in his first start back. Yeah, brilliant. That's what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> believe we had a bare 11 players um, today. What I call 11 first team players. Um, Owens was ill. It, we sort of begged him to go on the bench and come on at the end, but he'd been ill for the last two days. And, um, you know, he, he came on and done his little bit, but that was we done that with 11 f fit players, which is. And believe it or not, Don was touch and go whether he started today. We was going to give him one more week, but he just he was he really really wanted to play. You couldn't see his ankle before the game; it was all black and blue. You couldn't. There was no ankle; it was all still puffed. We had to strap it up. And when he went down early, we thought, ah, oh, you know, that's his ankle. Um, but he was okay. Um, but they all played their part. You know, when a single anyone out, they all played their part. But it's just saying they're doing that with eleven fit boys. They're going through, you know, the the barriers that far exceed what I expect from them if I'm honest and to put us sort of still within a whisper of that you know one point off that seventh place or whatever you want to call it we're just hanging around in there aren't we that's all we're doing we're hanging around um, so but we got to go next week and follow it up now we can't just have that and then have a poor performance next week we need a performance next week you know a point on the road is not a bad point but obviously We'll try and back it up if we can with three points, which would be a tough game because they're good at home. Perfect. Thank you very much. Cheers.